February 12th, 2020. That is the first time that we showed you these images, hundreds of pieces of valuable African art secretly stashed in a refurbished Harris County maintenance shed. And over the last 20 months, that investigation has been one of the top stories that you, our viewers, have routinely asked about. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz has been keeping tabs on the art, joins us live now with an update from that secret shed. So Mario, first of all, is it still there? Chris, we have learned that that massive private art collection still remains inside of that shed, even though it was originally planned to be moved out of there weeks ago. Is it still there? Talk to the county attorney. But sir, the, the art sits in your shed, Commissioner Ellis. Commissioner Rodney Ellis, Ellis two weeks ago today, shed. not answering questions. On the day movers were allowed to start showing up to this shed, where over 1,000 pieces of African art continue to sit surrounded by legal questions. Moving day for the art was supposed to be today. Is it still there or has it been moved? I, I don't know what you talked to in my office, but uh, whatever I do, it'll be in conjunction with the county attorney's office. The move was put on hold after KPRC2 investigates report on September 9th. Ellis's own team admitting ownership has not been authenticated. We like the owner to get it whoever that is. The county attorney's office and its new leadership telling KPRC2 investigates no move would be allowed unless it was approved by other agencies. We have documented the evidence in that matter. The Harris County District Attorney's Public Integrity Unit has been investigating this collection since February of 2020, according to county officials. Very little has been said. But First Assistant David Mitchum recently revealed the DA's office has gathered what they needed. We have, we have said that we have no opposition because we have documented the evidence. As for Commissioner Ellis, he himself is not answering questions about the art and its future. The shed has your name on it, sir. Is the art still there? Thank you, buddy. Is the art still there? Keep in mind, no storage fees or taxes have been paid for this artwork for many years now. And there are several members of the public who are asking how a benefit like this can be provided to public, excuse me, to private artwork. Again, according to Commissioner Ellis' office, and they reached out again to me today via text, they indicated to me that they are still waiting for authentication of the artwork inside. Live in South Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.